day one and we're working on the kit room. I'm pointing where it's gonna be, right there. The timber for our stud wall is over here and the first bit has been screwed into the concrete ground and the idea is another bit gets screwed over here and that's where the doors will be and then the whole structure is going to be built up all the way about to this height and check me out one of the first <laughs> packages that is in the studio is the standing desk from flexi spot so shout out to flexi spot for sending that through this video is sponsored by squarespace whether you need a domain website or an online store make it happen with squarespace I've got my time-lapse camera, aka my shitty rig, uh, which I've got masking tape over this clamp and magic arm. Hopefully this will get us a nice time-lapse whilst I'm away. Did you know that if you take the battery out of a GoPro and connect something like a power bank, uh, the GoPro will be using the power from the power bank, which means you get a lot more juice out of it. Kit room stud wall has been built. Look at this, I'm so happy, I'm so proud. My vision is taking shape. So yeah, the next stage is to, well obviously to complete the rest of the stud work, but then to plasterboard it. Oh, my, head, my head's like buzzing, I'm coming up with all sorts of ideas. You know what would be sick? A top floor. Imagine we have uh, a roof here that connects the entrance and the green room together and there's a top floor and this bit could be a whole edit space yes 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 and there'll be stairs there'll be stairs coming from here going all the way up that you know what i'm gonna get that in plan into action Well, this is the current state of the kit room. As you can see, without the shelves, all the bags on the floor look extremely sad. Now, I have no idea how these got here, but um, I have some garden shears, so I really don't know what to do with these. I'm gonna leave the mirror. I'm gonna leave some other things. I might take this in another day. But yeah, this is it. Asheville, Asheville, oh, oh, Jay, don't be sad. Hey, I'll tell you what, once the new studio is set up, you come in, use it whenever you want. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. <laughs> hey, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Makes me feel much better now. <laughs> it, it typically does, doesn't it? That works like a charm. It works. Yeah. Oh, I'm great now. <laughs> I look like Drake. Yeah, you know when he's on his album cover. Yeah, I'm basically Drake right now. The move is all done. All of the stuff got moved yesterday. And by all of the stuff, I mean that. What a state. So yeah, we're about day four into the whole build and currently the kit room. Perhaps I shouldn't smack it that hard in case something uh, collapses because I don't think this board is being screwed down yet. Yep, no, that one's not being screwed down. Yep. That's right, the kit room is almost there. The roof is going up. The lighting should be sorted out in a couple of days for it. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty sick. And remember those shelving units that we took apart from the old kit room? They're back here as well. And those things are super heavy to move around. So I thought we'll attach some wheels onto it. Just so that when it needs to be moved around, uh, you can just push it. One person can just push it around. But before we get down, let me just show you the view from here. Because look at this. So we've got a loft hatch that goes up here, which uh, you know means I can have more storage up here. And then eventually, this will go all the way across the room. So this middle part will be another room itself. And I reckon it will be a massive room because look at this. I am just on the edge here and there's enough headspace to walk around. And then all of that behind me could be used as storage. I reckon I can have multiple rooms up here. Maybe we can split this area into two rooms. Who knows? And then eventually I'll also be able to walk all the way up there as well. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's nightscape it. Let's do it now. Oh, 
Oh, there you go, look, see? We'll be able to oversee everything happening downstairs from here. So as work continues with the studio, I've been working on building myself a new website. And Squarespace makes it easy to build a professional looking website without any knowledge in coding. Small businesses needing a simple information site will love Squarespace. It provides a low cost, time efficient way to create a stylish brochure site to showcase services. I also love the fact that you can set up an e-commerce shop in a few and simple steps, and you can instantly upgrade your website from just a website to an online store. They offer a variety of different plans and you can always upgrade to a more advanced package once you need the extra features such as a fully integrated e-commerce shop if you're planning on either selling digital products or physical goods and all squarespace templates are fully responsive meaning that a mobile tablet optimized version of your site is automatically generated for users viewing your site on those devices not only does this make your site more accessible to a wider range of users they can provide some SEO benefits too. Squarespace is great for photographers, artists, designers, anyone who loves design and wants their website to look as good as their content they're showing off online. And because Squarespace has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer a 14 day free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, use my code Constantine to get 10% off your purchase. The link is in the description, so give that a click and check it out for yourself. All right, con coming through. Oh, are you getting the bunda shot? Wow, wow, wow. That's it. And then when you want to fold this up, and then that closes. How cool. And then, yeah, like I mentioned, there'll be lights in here. So there'll be a big LED strip here and one over there. That's the kit room. So what else do we have left to do with the kit room? Well, it needs to be a plasterboarded on this side. Two big double doors will be here with a big hefty lock. And to decorate the exterior of the building, I was thinking of having two light bulbs on the side here. And over on this side, as you can see, all the electrics are in. These are the plug sockets. So we have some plug sockets that are inside the kit room and some that are going to be outside the kit room, such as here and over there in the corner. And once this whole thing is plasterboarded, I'm gonna decorate it with foliage panels and this thing. Wait, hang on, you stay there. I'm bare strong, you know. All right, this is a decorative panel. And then I'm gonna get a bunch of these foliage panels and cover this whole wall like this. I've done a mock-up on Photoshop. So this is how it's gonna look. And above me, we've got the timber frame, which I'm gonna leave exposed. And eventually we're gonna stain them to this color. And then when it comes to filming something on this background, you have this whole frame above you uh, where you will be able to like rig lights and other things. So yeah, that's the plans for the kit room. Now, time frame wise, this is taking about four days uh, with two people to construct. So you know what, this project, I'm actually just gonna be releasing it weekly because if I just end up banking all the footage and making one video from it, it's gonna take about like two or three months. And you guys don't want me to not upload for about two or three months, do you? No, I thought so. As the build's progressing, I keep getting new ideas of what to do with the space. Now, my original thought was to have a kit room, have a green room and have another maybe edit suite up there. But because now we get the second floor, the edit suite could move upstairs and that leaves us open with more space. And what do we do with more space? We could build a new set there. What's really popular in filming is when you come to a location and you have different looks. So you have your like your foliage panel wall, your white cove. Next popular look is usually blackout. So like all of these brick textures, I'm not gonna cover them up with anything. I'm just gonna spray paint this black. So the idea is to keep uh, this sort of exposed brick look, but instead of having it white, paint it all black, including the floors and the ceiling. And then the last space on the ground floor will be the green room slash living room. It's just gonna be a nice chill place that if you wanna separate yourself from the people shooting out there, you can come into this room and chill out and have some quiet time. Or perhaps you wanna film a video here as well. Remember when I said, we're gonna put wheels on the shelves? Well, this is an example. And it's really satisfying to wheel around. Also, I think I went a little bit crazy because since I found out you can, you can put wheels onto anything. Forget standing desks. It's all about wheels on desks. I'm having a really good time. Oh, what's that? I'm needed on set. Coming. I'm not even typing on the laptop. You get the point. I'm really happy about this. I've just got an idea. Wheels on a standing desk next. Wheels on a standing desk. I think I've just invented a new product. It's gonna revolutionize. <clears throat> It's gonna revolutionize the, the industry. <laughs> Guys, I'm going crazy in this space. Right, okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video because as you can see, we've got loads more work to do. So stay tuned to the series where you'll get regular updates on this channel about this whole studio build. Very excited to show you the progress. Was my hair a total mess there? Oh, look at my hat, that is dirty. 
You you filmed me walking around like this for. No, I didn't even say the top of your hat. Why am I going to say the top of your hat? You're supposed to tell me if I look awful on camera. 